the world's youngest professor, Soborno Isaac Bari, who is known as God of Mathematics, has won the Da Vinci Laureate Award from the Da Vinci Institute in South Africa. We'll also give a keynote commencement speech at the Ph.D. graduation ceremony of the same university, the Da Vinci Institute. A laureate who's sitting right beside me, Professor Soborno Isaac Barry. Um, I see your dad wants you to take your mask off so he can see you smiling. So <laughs> I see him frantically telling you. We welcome each and every one of you and all protocols observed this evening for those distinguished guests and of course our PhD graduates. I introduce to you Professor Benjamin Anderson. I want to then start by welcoming our first student for the evening uh, graduating with a PhD. We don't have something normal on our program this evening, so the rest of you unfortunately are going to have to wait to become doctors, not because of anything other than the fact that our remarkable laureate this evening, we have two, but our one has joined us all the way from the United States of America. He is only nine years old. He has flown out just to meet each and every one of you, but let's not forget that he is nine years old and sitting the entire day. He had press meetings the whole day, and I think he is absolutely exhausted. So we're going to shift the program slightly, and I'm going to introduce him to you. He's going to then give us his speech this evening, and then we will continue with the rest of our graduates. Because we haven't dissolved this, we can continue as we go along. So I call you back, our wonderful Professor Bari, and I would like to introduce someone very special to you. I think he's probably the youngest person you've ever seen wearing a red coat. I will say to you that Professor Saborno Isaac Bari is an amazing, incredible Asian American child prodigy genius. He is the author, he is an author, which I will show you his book now, and he is the world's youngest professor. He was only seven years old when he received his first salary from Ruhr College at the University of Mumbai as a guest professor at the age of seven. That is quite remarkable. He was only born in 2012 at New York's Presbyterian Queens Hospital. His beloved family are sitting behind you over there, his father, his mother, and his brother, who all support him. Today we taught them about the principle of Ubuntu because his dad said that his growth is all about all of us collective within the community. So I said, I am because we are Ubuntu, and that is exactly how they are raising their child genius. He is, has got a wicked sense of humor, which we've come to absolutely adore. But what I'll tell you is that on November the 3rd in 2014, when Professor Bari was only two years old, he already was meeting with the Medgar Edver College's Vice President, Gerald Postman, who took his interview at just two years old. I think you were talking at six months, right? In full sentences. Okay, six months in full sentences. In April 2016, Dr. Lisa Koiko, President of City College of New York, gave Professor Bari the nickname, the Einstein of our time, for his achievement on a series of tests in maths and science. In 2016, at just four years old, he received a le letter of recognition from President Barack Obama for his accomplishments in maths and science. And in 2018, I remind you that he was only six years old, he received a letter from Harvard University President Drew Forst. On August 28th, he delivered a lecture at Harvard, hosted by Harvard Project for Asian and International Studies. And I remind you, he was just six years old. In 2019, Professor Bari received an invitation from the Nobel Laureate Kailash um, Satyati, Vice Chancellor of SP Pune University, Natin, and the principal of the Rui Autonomous College. And at this, he was asked to make a trip to India. On January the 3rd, 2020, Professor Bari received the Global Child Prodigy Award from the Nobel Laureate. And on January the 4th, 2020, he was recognized by the principal of the Rui College. On January the 6th, he gave a book talk on his book called The Love. 
And it is really incredible. He gave this in front of university faculty, students, and alumni. And in March of 2020, as COVID hit our country, our child prodigy was with Oscar-nominated actor or actress, Melissa McCarthy, who interviewed him at Warner Brothers Studios for NBC's Little Big Shot. And his interview was broadcast on NBC during primetime. You may ask what our child prodigy does. Well, he has certainly received recognition from everybody, including the New York State governor. He's inspired millions of students to fall in love with his great love, which is maths and science. He has a YouTube channel called the Bari Science Lab, and you guys should have a look. He gets hundreds of thousands of views, and he has over 300,000 subscribers. But most importantly, he really is somebody who wants to teach the world about the love of maths and science. He says that teachers don't teach it right, and they don't teach students to love it enough, and that's what he hopes to do to inspire the world. He has chosen, even though he's at a grade 12 level scholastically, to be in grade four so that he can play with classmates at recess that are nine years old as well. But he's doing, because he gets very bored, the grade eight syllabus alongside it. It is such an honor to introduce to you our laureate this evening, Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. I call upon Sachaba Motsiloa, who is the chair of the Da Vinci Institute Council, to welcome Prof Professor Bari and to give him his award this evening before he delivers his address. And brace yourselves, he is an absolutely astounding speaker. So we look forward to your talk, Prof Bari. You can sit down until Sir Chab is finished. It is a privilege for me to introduce what the Da Vinci Laureate Award for Social Architects is about. A Da Vinci Laureate is expected to provide insights into the complex systems and make contributions to society at large. They are also recognized for honorable service to their country through applied engagements. Laureates distinguish themselves by engaging in specific domains within society and thereby contribute to the reconfiguration of society, social systems at large. It is my pleasure now to present you the award before you, Atreus Asprof. Thank you. 